What's up everyone, with the Titan show just around the corner on the DC Universe streaming app, I figured I'd talk about one of the team's most beloved characters, and that's Starfire. So today I'm going to give you her comic book origin. With that said, I'm going to be giving you her original origin and not her updated New 52 one. Because quite frankly, I think most people would agree her original one is better. She first appeared in DC Comics Presents, issue 26 in 1980. But we didn't get her origin until Tales of the New Teen Titans in issue 4 in 1982. And she was created by Marv Wolfman and George Perez. But enough of that, let's see what this fan favorite character's backstory is all about. Her real name is Coriander. She was the second of three children born to the king and queen of the planet Tamaran. So for those of you who didn't know, yes, she's a princess. The people of Tamaran have the ability to absorb solar energy through their skin, much like Superman, and convert it into the power of flight. However, Coriander's older sister, Commander, who would later become Teen Titans' enemy Blackfire, had a rare disease as a child, and because of this, she wasn't able to fly like the rest of her people, which also led her being stripped of her right to be the next successor to the throne. Which of course meant Coriander became the next in line to rule planet Tamaran. Not shockingly, this made Commander bitter and hate her younger sister, as well as just made her an unpleasant person all the way around. When both sisters were old enough, they were sent away to train with the legendary warlords of Okara. But when the two of them were sparring for a test, Commander was knocked off a cliff by Coriander. Knowing her older sister couldn't fly, Coriander flew down to catch her sister to save her life. But Commander returned the favor by trying to kill her younger sister. At this point, the Okara warlords banished her saying, You are without a heart or soul. You wallow in your own hate. You are not one of us. Leave us, Commander. You are a disgrace. So she left, but she said, I'll be back to see you all burn in hell. See, she's literally the polar opposite of her younger sister. Now you may be asking, where did Commander go? Well, she went to join forces with the Citadel, the enemies of Tamaran, of course. They used Commander's information to successfully invade Tamaran which led to the king and queen having to turn over their daughter Coriander to the Citadel and their evil daughter to ensure peace. Can you imagine having to give your daughter to your enemy because your other daughter is an evil self-righteous jerk? That's a bad day, no matter how you spin it. Coriander then became a slave to the Citadel and Commander for six years where she was tortured and abused. Her sister was on the brink of killing her too when they were both captured by another alien race called the Scions, who were sadistic evil scientists. Being the sadistic scientists they were, they performed a deadly experiment on both of the sisters to see how much energy their Tamaranian bodies could absorb before exploding from the overload. I know, it sounds like a hostile slash human centipede type thing, doesn't it? Fortunately, the machine that held Coriander exploded and she was set free. Once free, she learned whatever experiment the Scions performed granted her new powers like her Star Bolts. And much like the sparring match with her sister, she tried to save her but Commander just tried to kill her once she set her free. Long story short, Coriander escaped and would eventually find her way to Earth where she joined the Teen Titans and took up the name Starfire. But there you have it, Starfire's origin. As far as some of her powers and abilities go, she could fly, she has invulnerability, she's omnilingual, an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and of course, she has her energy blasts. Starfire's body continually absorbs ultraviolet radiation, which she then converts into the energy that powers her star bolts, as well as her ability to fly. She has a few more powers and abilities, but I think that's a pretty solid rundown. As for Starfire reading recommendations, this isn't a history of episode, meaning I don't normally go into that. But if you watch our History of Teen Titans episode, all of the recommendations in there obviously work for her, as most of her best stories are with the Teen Titans. With that said, that's going to bring another episode of Variant to a close. But remember to check out our website, VariantComics.com, as well as all of our social media. Links for that is in the description below. But I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics.